the Gillies fly I'm using a this is a Patriot it's a size 10 gold it's one of the new hooks from Partridge it's very strong nice nice hook decent size eye in it so thread I'm going to be using it's a uni thread AO in red just balance it so you can see yeah then we start my thread just at the the eye and work my way down now on the way down I'm going to tie in some oval gold tinsel. Now I've got a flat surface to tie on so the tinsel will not pull out. This is number 14 uh, or small. I'm just going to carry on down. Now as I get to the point of the hook there, then form a tag with the oval tinsel by winding basically around the bend slightly. Four turns and then bringing the oval tinsel between the hooks and underneath tighten it up and then catch it in. Now you can use this for the rib so what I normally do is separate the tag from the rib and balance the body by taking it up and bringing it back down just like that. Now I'm going to use some hot orange bucktail. Now this size of fly don't need a lot of fibres. It's basically I'm not sure, I don't have any cut ends which I hate to see. Just take them out, take your time and remove them. You do get that and uh, best to remove them. And then what I do is simply you can either stack it or you can bring the ends in line. Now this is a size 10 so I don't want it too heavy. So length of the tail depends on where you are. Uh, some people prefer the shorter tail. Don't have a, a lot of confidence in a long tail. I don't bother too much. I like it reasonably long but have a balance to suit the size of the fly that you're tying. So you see you're using the length, full length of the hook. There we are. It's the full length and you want double that over the back. That makes for a nice length. So there we are on top, trim that away. Now I'm going to use, instead of crystal flash, I'm just going to use a mirror flash. Uh, you can either use pearl, yellow, red, blue, they all work. Uh, only a couple of strands, I've got a red and a yellow here. The mirror flash is just a flat or a mobile. Uh, got two strands. I'm going to fold it back. So basically, I'm going to catch it in with two or three turns and then come back. There we are. And then, what you do is get it on top and then trim them so they're really different lengths and they're independent of one another. There we are. Now, get some of the Arctic Runner, and this is dyed. As you can see, a really strong orange. Uh, basically what it is is a hot orange dye with a tiny bit of red in it. So if you can dye your own you can get the brighter colours. The Arctic Runner. You can keep the longer hairs in it if you want. Run it round about, the main part of the hair to about, round about half the length of the tail. Just tying it on top. At this point what I'm going to do is just basically tie them in, tidy up. Trim it like a taper slightly. So if you taper the cut, you'll get a tapered so, uh, towards the head or so that you can keep the wing quite low. If you have it all square, you'll have a step. And what that does is lift the wing. You don't want that. So we quite look. That's uh, fine. And way back down, there's a halfway mark. Let me tie in some holographic gold tinsel. And this is a large. Catch it wherever you want. I just caught it on my side and then I'm going to come back up. 
The reason I like the lard is it covers much better. You don't have to basically wibble about to try and get them in line. This you can overlap them quite easy. This point here, come across your thread. Get three or four turns to make sure it's secure. And then get some black floss. I'm just using a rayon black floss. There's many flosses out there as a that you could actually use. Pull into that part of the body. Just a wee bit of wax. And then form the second part of the body. Now, what you have to watch is, you're not winding any hackles in this fly. So you basically have to, watch you're not going to be too short, depending as well the type of knot, uh, knot you're going to use, some like a, a space so they can get the turtle knot over, so you can leave a knot or a space for that. It's up to yourself. And then come up with your rib. Now, times I would maybe use wire on the larger flies, but with the oval tinsel, because I'm getting grip near the top with the floss, stops it slipping. And across your thread, make sure it's tied in. Trim away the excess. Just a wee bit of wax on my thread. See where we are. Oh, it looks fine. Nice and bright, nice and clean. Just looking at the tail end here, especially with the flash. You can always leave it if you're not happy with it when the when the river. You can trim it back. So you can see the length. We've got moisture there. That's fine. Now the throat I'm going to use again. The Arctic Runner dyed this flame. Basically, all I'm going to do is pinch and loop it underneath. Now you can see the kind of guard here. So I'm just going to bring a couple of them in just to line them up. And then you're looking just slightly by, see the bend of the hook at the back. Now what I'm going to do is just pinch and loop up the way. So just hold the materials and then come up. Pinch the thread obviously and come in. And there we are now. What I'm going to do is trim. Now what you could do is, I'll show you if you're using the, this is the throat which is dyed blue guinea fowl. You can bring the fly upside down and tie it in. I'm really... Over the years I've just practiced the pinch and loop up the way. Now what I'm going to do here is bring these fibers out, tear them off. Now you get two flies out of this one feather. Now you want the throat slightly shorter so they're separate. In this case just basically I'm looking at the fiber itself, it's quite fine so looking Probably towards the end of the body, on the top, just pinch and loop it. Just watch the points of the hook, that's what I'm dragging my fingers there, but just be careful. And I'm just going to put a wee bit of wax on my thread, make sure there's plenty of grip. That's fine. And then trim away it. Now what I'm going to do now is just tidy the head area up. Make sure you wax on your thread when you're doing that. Now this is see the normal of the wing would be I'll show you um, some dyed yellow. This is dyed yellow grey squirrel. And what I'll show you just bring it out the tips you would tie this in here like that. Which is a nice nice fly but I'm going to use the Arctic runner just as a variant. I have a few like this so I'm going to tie up it's always good to have slight variants of a good pattern, and that's a good pattern, so... But don't change the name to suit yourself, just, that's just basically tied with Arctic Runner. Now I've got a sunburst Arctic Runner here. If you want to tie your own flies, you've been able to tie slight variants of different patterns. Just enjoy doing that, so... This is the yellow, I'm taking it... Basically, the tips would probably go at least a third to halfway into the tail, depending what you like in the style. 
Let's get tying this on the top. Two or three turns to hold. Trim that away. Make sure I've got some wax on my thread, which gives me the grip. Holds it here. And I'm going to get some more, some black. This is black Arctic Runner. You'll need a wee drop. Properties of the Arctic Runner that is that it's very mobile. A lot of movement in it. And the size 10 like this is a good grouse type size. Now I'm tying it, as you can see, slightly shorter than the yellow. Separating the hair. And again, just a wee bit of wax on your thread. And if you are having problems, sometimes it, it can be slippy here. What you can do is get your super glue. And you just run it onto your thread like that. And say it's slipping right, so you would do that and then you would come in and just catch those ends. And then you would certainly have a, a really tight head. And then I'm going to finish off with a couple of eyes, some jungle cock. Two small eyes. Length, it's up to yourself, it could be short eyes or it could be part of the wing. So I'm just going to come in, so basically I've got the two eyes. You can put them on individual if you want, it's up to yourself. And just put them on together, make sure they're in line, same length, just it's a flat on the top like that. Hold them so they're on the sides. Come around with two or three turns. Just check to see where they are, where they're sitting, where you like them. I prefer them up into the wing, so... Come down, important that you wee bit wax on your thread. Now, basically, making sure they don't pull out, you can fold back the stems. Now, you see how it's slipping there. So what I'm going to do is just come up, do like a zigzag with the thread. You watch, just coming zigzagging, catching in. This basically gives it grip much better. Now you can break these away or cut them away. Now I'm going to brighten the head up, so I'm not too fussy with tidying up at this point. I'm just going to come down with three or four turns. Quick finish. So I'll the thread. And this is glow bright number four, floss. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this in. Again, just build up the head, use the floss like you would probably varnish the head with red. This is really, really bright, so but just before you get to the top, take away the base piece. So it means you can tidy up that cut end, you see. You see how bright the head is now. Right. Red head and flies really works. So it's certainly certainly worth having. Now whip finish obviously, trim away the base. I'll trim away. Now it's important that you super use super glue. The reason being it dries much quicker. It doesn't soak in as far and you don't lose the colour. And as quick as I'm going round this once I can get round again. And it's basically putting another layer onto the head because it dries so quick. Now, once now this dry, once the super glue is dry, now it doesn't take long. I'm just going to varnish the head, finish it off. You probably need another coat of varnish, but you could get away with a single coat. And uh, this will seal it, finish it off, make it. Really robust. You can see how bright the head is, jeez. It's very much brighter than that.